You guys had a big weekend on Quant Crawler. Got a lot of updates done yesterday and then got even more feedback from yesterday to today that I want to address before the market opens tomorrow. Also, a little side note, I think I fixed my mic. So everybody who was saying that I was really quiet in some of the videos, I need to know if the audio is any better. Some people can hear me fine. Some people can't say it's really quiet. And then an ad comes up and about blows their eardrums out. I think is what it was is I use the Focusrite Scarlet Solo where I route everything back to my computer. And when I opened up the settings in Windows, it had the volume at 52% instead of 100. I moved that up and apparently that's what it took to fix it. At least that's what it sounds like. So please let me know. But yesterday I made a video about the updates we did. And then I had 72 emails this morning when I woke up, filtered through them. A lot of the same stuff, people getting the same issues. So today should be a pretty easy fix. But I built this, you guys use it, and for some reason in my head, I just feel like when I do an update, I need to do it here, share with you guys what we changed. That way, if I change something on an update and it makes it worse, I can roll it back. And I also use this for my own documentation stuff too. It'd be like, all right, on November 9th, this is what I did. So here's the list of what we did. It's ready for tomorrow. And then side note, on Tuesday, the 11th, it's Veterans Day. So I won't be live that day and the website is going to be down for about six hours. Okay, so here's what we tackled today or are in the process of tackling. This is for November 9. The first one, most critical fix, we had 11 different tickets opened where people said the stop loss is not matching the risk amount. So users are risking or saying they want to risk 400, but the stop loss is kicking back out is actually setting it at what would be 1600. So they're getting completely wrong information on that. I'm testing it right now. I have two other people that I trust implicitly testing it with me as well, just to make sure we're going to get the same output and we aren't going to have that issue. That should be resolved by market open tomorrow morning on Monday the 10th. Issue two is the short trade stops below entry. So multiple people were using this with Bitcoin and over the weekend, Bitcoin short entry at 101.681 and it put the stop at 101.581. It should be the other way. It was almost flipping the short and longs and the stop losses around. So it was immediately setting you up into an invalidated zone. So that is fixed as well. That's already tested and confirmed. This kind of ties in with issue two, the pullback logic inverted on shorts. So it was telling you to wait for a pullback on a short, but on a short, you don't want to wait for a pullback because that's going down. If you're in a short and it's going down, that's what you want. So the logic and the reasoning is backwards on that right now, just with the verbiage. I did test that. It's just verbiage there. So I just need to get the prompting and everything updated. And that's in the works right now as well. Should be done by tomorrow morning. Otherwise... Well, it'll be done by tomorrow morning because we don't want that going into uh, trading day. This is one I was not able to recreate. I got this from three different people that they would get a message that just says error object and is what my hunch is, is that the people who sent that in were also giving me screenshots, but is what they're doing is taking the snipping tool or one of their actual uh, screen capture things, dragging to the area and... I'm wondering if maybe the images are too large because I do have a compression on there to where day one, we immediately hit our limit because the file size was so large that it was sending out and transmitting back and forth that it was just overloading everything immediately. So there's a compression filter in there and uh, I'm guessing that's what this is. So this may have to be with doing your own screenshots with the snipping tool down here or some other tool. I'm not sure how it's saved on the output. I can't recreate this, so I am still working on this one. When I was putting it in, quick fix, I thought it was going to be a quick fix. I can't recreate it, so I can't fix it. This was one that was coming up, stay away contradictions. The main output was to stay away, but the confidence percentage of the play actually unfolding, whether it's a long or a short, would be, it'll still say high confidence. So, if you're at stay away, the confidence should be zero because it has no confidence in the play or it wouldn't be telling you to stay away. So this has been updated. The email function was broken. We again hit our limits. I increased the size on that 20X. We had over 3,500 emails sent out yesterday. So uh, apparently that's the daily limit. I now move that to 25,000 per half day. So every 12 hours, we can have 25,000 emails sent out. If we hit that limit, good Lord, it's a good day.
so these are the high priority fixes that are already done and confirmed the mnq ticker value error mnq was giving the same size plays and tick value as nq that was getting confused so people who were looking at mnq for the plays were getting very confused uh, and very contradicting information because of the tick size so uh that's already been updated and fixed the es ticker bug was es was overriding some of those when people would send an es screenshot or an NQ, it was still calling it ES. I debugged it the best I could. I can't recreate it. I've tried more than 15 times to have it happen, and it just didn't happen. So I'm working on that. And then also down here on the analysis is adding in timestamps. Um, people are wanting timestamps within the actual chat, which makes sense. It does show up on the left-hand side where your previous chats are. It has a timestamp and date, but we're also putting that into the chat itself because that has not been there. So that's being updated right now as well. Mobile optimization is coming, but it's not as high a priority right now until I get these other items fixed, but this is in the works. I'm imagining this is going to be within the next seven days because we did have eight different people sending in technical problems stating they couldn't access it on their phones. So this is in the works, but won't be available until probably next week. I apologize. I'm just a one man show. It's the quickest I can get to it. Image history right here. The images, once you start a new chat, the images go away. And that just has to do with sizing and memory. And when the AI models are communicating back and forth, we don't want any past chat information sent back to the API calls and all of that because it just eats away at our limits. So I actually disabled that to where the minute you start a new chat, all the images disappear is what I'm going to do for the middle ground on that is we're going to do the last 10 chats. We'll hold the images, but we're not going to hold every image you upload for 50 chats until they fall off on the end. So you'll have the last 10, but we're not going to hang on to all 50. It's just too much. And then analysis transparency, show AI reasoning breakdown. We're going to work on something for that. Display confidence. Confluence details, working on that as well, and then more visibility into decisions as to why it made it. This is in the works and tabled and is going to be done this week. I don't have a date on that, but it will be done this week at some point, probably closer to the weekend. The next thing is a side-by-side -side comparison. When you put charts in, it will come down to option one and option two, and some people want to see both and want them side by side. We're having a chart created that will auto populate all of the data it's going to give you. So this will be coming soon. Date is known right now, but I have to make sure this doesn't get bugged, that it always formats correctly. And that's going to take me a couple days. Again, one man show. I got to get to it um, as soon as I can, but I got to prioritize some of these other crucial things too. And then right here, all critical fixes tested with multiple instruments, long and short setups, various risk amounts. I plugged in all the way up to $10,000 at one point and it was fine. And then also the different market conditions. If you guys have anything else, we're still working on 1.6, the next batch of updates. I'm actually gonna just push this to 1.7 and uh, leave me a comment on YouTube or email me off the website if you guys have anything else.